So, in this video, I'm going to be doing a Halloween look. I haven't done many looks for like Halloween time. I only did Chucky, Bride of Chucky for my YouTube channel like two years ago. No, three years ago actually. It's going to be kind of like tears dripping down my face, but they're going to be blood tears and then they're going to be glitter. So that's the plan. So first I'm just moisturizing my face, um, making sure that it's hydrated. And I'm using this moisturizer from the brand Peach Slices. It is one of those that has the like snail mucus stuff. <laughs> and I think it is really good for your skin. Now I'm just going to comb through my eyebrows. Right now I'm kind of in a phase where I'm growing out my eyebrows. So basically, I have not done very many Halloween looks um, in the past few years. I did a bunch of Halloween looks in 2019, and then in 2020, this is just an eyeshadow primer. I should probably do the concealer thing. This is by Olimar Cosmetics. It's called Pero Primero Primer. Um... So let me just blend this in. But I'm excited to start filming again. Whatever I've uploaded onto my YouTube channel um, before this, I'm not like insanely proud of. I just had, oh, well, I got it in my hair. So I'm going to cut out my eyebrows. They're just very grown out. Let me just briefly do the eyebrow thing. Everything I've uploaded on this channel so far um, is not, I'm not like super proud of. I um, was kind of not sure what types of videos I wanted to upload, just everything like that. And now that it's like Halloween time, I feel like I should break out and actually do some interesting makeup looks. So I have a few others planned. I'm gonna make, let me know if any of these sound like intriguing video ideas. I wanna make a like commentary video. Not that I want this channel to really be like commentary and stuff. I did a reaction video to that one psychic medium, Matt Fraser. I did like a video where I was like reacting to one of his videos and I thought that was fun. But I don't really think I'm going to make those type of videos on this. I mean, who knows? Maybe I'll change my mind if I find something like really interesting I want to react to. But I think I mainly still want it to be makeup, just completing makeup looks and talking about some things. But um, I am going to be making a commentary video about Gone Girl. I want to make... Um, myself kind of look like Amy. Not that Amy is a character that I really look up to. She's not. She's someone that um, I kind of dislike a lot. But I want to make a video kind of talking about the concept of Gone Girl and kind of overanalyzing the cool girl monologue because she says a lot of like great, great things in the cool girl monologue. They're ri like, I think she's being honest, but I don't know. She, she's like the definition of like, I'm not like those other girls. I want to make a video kind of just talking about her because I sometimes used to see posts in the past about like people praising her, like, cause she's an icon, like a feminist icon. I'm like, she ruined her entire life over her husband. Just cause she says some like, nice things in the cool girl monologue. She's not anyone that girls should look up to. She's crazy. <laughs> and then I'm also going to make a video um, transforming myself into the love witch, the Annabella movie. Or I think it's Anna or Anna, I don't know. But I, I love the love witch. I really want to like analyze it and talk about it as a film. And I love that director so much. I She's on my first um, person when I 
Um, she's on my list for people who I want to interview once I make this channel actually into a decent channel and I have something to show for. I want to make a series where I interview people that I find really interesting. Um, people that would still be okay talking to a YouTuber, like it's not like super super official, but she seems like down to earth at least. So I just want to know like maybe if she'd have a conversation with me in the future, in the future once I've like established myself so much more in this space. Okay so for the eyeshadow, I'm going to be using this giant palette. <laughs> it's from Makeup Revolution. They did a Game of Thrones collection and this was the big palette that was in that collection. So it looks like a giant book basically that like folds out. And I'm going to be using this red shade as like the crease color. So, no, but first I'm going to put down like a taupe brown, a light brown shade, kind of maybe like that, to put in the crease first. It's kind of hard for me, I don't have a super professional filming setup, but it's okay. I have a camera with a camera stand. So yeah, this is just my first, um, like Halloween type video back, but I have two more planned for like, the rest of the month and then I want to make a little vlog um, of just like all the Halloween activities that I'm doing like if I do anybody's makeup like special effects style I want to film that and just make it into like a little vlog at least want to like film myself doing like the small Halloween things I want to go to spirit Halloween so I need to get like some more like special effects stuff because I'm going to do um, my friend's makeup. That um, eyeshadow primer by Olimar Cosmetics is really, really good. Um, it's like really tacky, so the eyeshadow sticks really well. But yeah, I'm just trying to pack on this color. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect because then I just kind of like blend out the edges with another brush, but I'm just using this packing brush. I'm mainly just trying to get all the pigment down and then I'm taking it under my lash line okay so now I'm going in with a pretty dark black shade and I'm just lightly lightly putting that on the outer corner and kind of winging it out but the red part already wings out so I don't really want to go too far with this like pretty it's like a black shade it's like almost black but it's more of a kind of gray um it's a really really dark gray color so i'm just putting that right here on the crease i have a lot of inspiration for my channel i just haven't been able to like put mu much of it into action i still want to make these like video edits of movies. I have a few already uploaded on my channel, but I have some more ideas for some movies I want to edit. There was just this one YouTube channel, I think I looked them up, I think it's still in existence, but they made a bunch of edits with movie clips, but it was mostly to Lana Del Rey songs. I think the channel used to be called Mermaid Motel. I'm not sure if it still is, but um, they just made a ton of, like, music videos to, like, movies using Lana Del Rey, or Lana Del Rey songs. And I've just done that a, a little bit with some other songs I like. And I'm still going to, um, do that on my channel. Because I really like that concept, but... That's one of the types of videos that's kind of like, what does she upload? What's her style? Um, I still haven't fully found my style yet, so I'm working on it. <laughs> this is like one of my first videos, trying to make it a little bit more um, concise with my theme, of my Instagram, and my channel, which is makeup and mystery. So of course, like Halloween is a perfect time for me to film stuff and, you know, be creative. I'm going to add a lid shade that's going to be shimmery 
it's going to be this shade right here. Let me actually use my finger. There we go. You know what? I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna film myself doing the rest of my foundation and like the powder and stuff because it just, it's kind of boring. And maybe soon, in the next few months, I'll do some type of like foundation routine with a more natural eyeshadow look, not something like this. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to go in with some blush. Just use this one. Um, I'm going to put a lot of blush on for this look, actually. No bronzer, though, just blush. Oh, I think I'm also going to do a black swan look. I might not film it for my channel, but um, it's inspired by my one makeup Instagram friend who did it. She did like a white swan look and a black swan, and I thought it was so cool. So I think I'm just going to do the black swan one because it has that like cool, you know, avant-garde makeup on. So I think... I'm gonna recreate that one for sure. It'll be in my Halloween vlog at the, um, at the end of the month is when I'll upload the like Halloween vlog. But it's not just about Halloween. I think I'm gonna do my little brother's makeup like a zombie for so when he does trick or treat <laughs> I'm gonna do his makeup to be all special effects and all all creepy. There's some nose blush. <laughs> Me, my. I am in love with putting a little bit of blush on the tip of your nose. I think it's so cute. Okay, so now I will move on to the blood tears. Let me pull up the picture of my other look. This is kind of inspired by this like blue tears look that I did. It was supposed to be um, inspired by the song Crying by Roy Orbison and I just did this like blue tears kind of like streaming down my face and then I made them glitter. So I'm going to try to do the same thing with the red but then on top I will add like some fake blood so it looks more like Halloween-ish. I have these two face paints the red and then the black and I'm going to mix those so it kind of I just I want it to look like real tears like they're not going to be like drips like I want them to just look like a tear like real tears streaming down like I just want it to look really like real like there is like a tear that came down on my face so there's the start of it and then I just add a little bit of water so then the drip will fall on its own so it does look like a real a real tear see Just with the two, it makes me look kind of like Pennywise, but not. <laughs> okay, there we go. There's one dripping. Okay, so now I have the tears on, and I don't have any glitter primer, so I'm just using eyelash glue for the glitter primer. I already put it on one. Um, drip and then I'm gonna use this glitter it's really old but it's from the brand 
um, Glam and Goth. If you know of the creator, I think her first name is Marley. She has this brand and it's like Glam Goth. It's so good. I literally love her stuff. Or her aesthetic that she has. And she makes YouTube videos too. But I have always been like a fan of her just like style and like everything that she does. So I still have this glitter from like 2018 or something when I bought it. But it's a red glitter and it's the name is Carrie. So very fitting, you know, with the blood. So I got this glitter and I'm going to use that on um, the drips. But right now I'm trying to put my lashes on and I'm just nervous because I'm just like, is it tacky enough? I can't tell. But first I gotta put the glitter down. Eyelash, eyelash glue still does work if you're missing a glitter primer because that's not really a thing that I typically have um, when I do makeup looks. I don't really use glitter excessively. Now I think I'm going to try to put on the lash. <sighs> Pray for me. These are like drag lashes. So now I'm going to fill it in. I already I did all the glitter, so now I'm going to go in with the blood gel and just put that over top so it looks like real blood, but there is glitter underneath, so it really it still is like a fantasy look. <laughs> the blood isn't supposed to look completely real, but this will help make it look more consistent with the like gore theme. Ooh, that looks so sick. That looks so good. You can see it um, under the under the blood. This is gonna be good. Oh yeah, this is really good. <laughs> Whoa. I think I did not think that this would work as well as it is. Yeah, that's so cool. Woo! My eyelashes on this bottom lash, they got stuck together. <laughs>
I knew this would work. I knew it. I was like, that's an idea. Blood, glitter, tears. So, so insane. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, that was really cool. I need to make sure my hands are okay now, though. Okay, so now I'm going to fill in my lips. I'm just going to be using a brown lip liner and then a black lipstick on top of it. So let me just do this real quick and then we'll finish out the video. I'm using this NYX liquid suede and it's the black shade. It's alien, yep, I remember that. Okay, so here's the look all completed. I added the black lips so you can see like the contrast is good with like my outfit and the blood and the black. It just, it all like completes it. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that it'll end up being on the shorter side because I know a lot of my videos are a little bit too long. So it's kind of like, why would I even sit here and watch this? I don't even know what her brand is, what her style is, like I'm not even sure. So hopefully with this video it feels a little bit more like you know exactly what you're getting from the title and it's not too much of a commitment to watch this. So um, I hope you enjoyed just watching me put together this look. It was pretty simple compared to some of the other Halloween looks that are out there but if you want to use this as an idea tag me on Instagram. I'd literally love to see anybody if they like recreate it. That would make me so happy. And somebody's probably already done a look similar to this, I would assume. I saw one that was like, um, it was like blood, tears, but they were using like little red gemstones as the tears. Um, so it's pretty similar. Someone's definitely done a look like this before, but I don't really know what to call it. Um, if you do a look that's like, the same eyeshadow, same like blood tears, and then the black lip. Just tag me if you recreate like this specific look because I just think that would be cool. Um, and I'm gonna do a couple more Halloween looks. I'm gonna do Black Swan, The Love Witch, and I'm gonna recreate, I'm gonna cosplay Amy Dunn from Gone Girl when she um, is like in the shower and she's like washing off her body um, when she's like covered in blood. So, and I'm going to make a Gone Girl commentary video. It's not like an ode to Amy, like she's a queen, because she's not. Anyway, look out for those videos um, in the next few weeks, because through October I'm going to upload those two others, and then I'm going to do a little Halloween vlog of just all of the um, Halloween-type activities that I'm doing. So, um, let me know what you thought of this video, if you think it's a little bit more... Um, has a more has a more of a conclusion than like some of my other videos. If you want to watch some of my other other videos, um, go right ahead. But <laughs> but like I'll just warn people that like everything I've uploaded like like before this has not been my best work because I've been low on inspiration and kind of a rut. But now I kind of have some ideas. So I'm just excited to um, share them with people who follow me still. So that was the video. Basically, thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you in my next one.